Aerial Thunder. That rumbling you hear are fighter jets running maneuvers over my neighborhood. Well, it's good to know we're protected, so I guess if the shit hit the fan. <clears throat> yeah, I live near an Air Force base. Anyways, short video here. Um, organic, natural, um, from the earth, um, serendipital, uh, chance by chance encounter, you know. I've been thinking about, you know, a lot of things as I always do. And I, and I, and I really have been pondering the way we now communicate with each other. You know, so much of our communication uh, rests in text messaging. You know, we don't even like to talk on the phone anymore, you know, if we can avoid it. And it, it almost creeps us out to meet each other, you know unless there's truly a beneficial reason. Hence, financial, uh, <laughs> drugs, uh, maybe paying a bill, uh, or ultimately from an online encounter, you know, meeting in person for the first time. Now, of course, as we know, I'm a thousand years old, and I remember a time, you know, uh, 500 BT, before technology. We'll call it BT, before technology. Yeah. Um, you know, the chance encounter was how life worked. You know, the, seren the serendipity, the, the chance, the possible. You know, you, you never knew who you might meet on a daily basis. And if somebody definitively different or interesting, you know, preferably non-creepy, Sure, popped in to your store, or you saw them in the grocery, or the the mall, or the at church, or at the gym, uh, or somebody in a pickup co-ed softball game, or whatever. Uh, that was kind of how things worked, and you know, you would hear people routinely say, "Oh, wow, I met this great guy at the gym the other day," or "Hey, you know, I met this really awesome lady." Uh, girl in an elevator the other day just going up we were just chatting and we were going up to one of the higher floors whatever we were we were always open for just striking up a conversation and you know rolling with it to this very day I still do that as if it were the old days and I will tell you that people definitely look surprised when I do that but I think it's still in our human DNA to be receptive of somebody just striking up a conversation out of nowhere, you know? Because like I said, not too long before BT, that was how we always communicated. There, there was no other way, per se, to, to see somebody in real time and be like, wow, visually they impress me. So I'd like to say hello. You know, and let them know that I'm living and breathing and on this planet as well. And that is, again, the chance encounter, the serendipity, the organic, the organic properties of, of being human and being able to communicate the way we can, and the way we do, and more so the way we used to, is the point I'm making. And, you know... It, it so frustrates me because I think a lot of women, not all women, and I think a lot of men, but not all men, are much more wired now and accepting and approving of that, well, oh, no, 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 no. I would never date some guy that I just met out on the street, you know, just being out and about. No. No. There's a protocol. There, there's a there's a way that things are done now, you know, um, and I think this this is definitely more primary with women. Um, that no, I'm not going to accept any advances from a guy who I just met, you know, at the car wash or at the gym or you know at Arby's or wherever. No, no, that's catching me off my guard. I'm out of my element. I'm out of my bubble, my zone. 
Uh, no, I, I just really don't see that as something that I would do. Now, I think that's m probably most women's mentality towards men. Men, I think, are more and more subscribing to that. Um, but again, we have reduced our personalities to where the chance encounter is so much less unlikely to happen because we don't strike up conversations. But I think if a woman did strike up a conversation with a man, just out of the blue and, and there was an instant serendipital connection, I still think the guy would be more apt to say, you know, I've really enjoyed talking with you. Would it be okay if I got your number and texted you or gave you a call and we could continue this? And then, of course, it would be up to the woman. I think men are still more um, tolerant of something like that happening than women. But women kind of run the show, you know? I mean, if women tell guys that, hey, I'm really attracted when you wear your pants around the backside of your ankles and you look like a total fuck boy who is just released from prison and your little skinny jeans, your man chinos, oh, well, guys will wear that because, you know, apparently girls are receptive to it and they think it's cute or sexy and guys will look like fucking clowns because they think, well, it'll get me some, some pussy, right? So, you know, yeah, women, you know, you, you do hold the cards in the social schemas in a lot of ways, but not, not picking on anybody here. I'm just saying through observation that, you know, if we lose the organic basis of the human experience, to me, it just makes things so incredibly uh, marginal and predictable and downright boring. Because I would know then that no matter how I look on any given day or how I smell or how I sound or how I approach someone, it starts and stops, you know, it begins and ends right there and it's not going to go any further. You know, and I remember once upon a time, you know, you'd meet a bartender or a waitress or a stripper or whoever and you'd be like, hey, can I get your phone number? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't date my customers. So I guess the new line is, hey, you know, it's really been nice having this spontaneous conversation with you. Can I get your number? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't give my phone number out to chance encounters on the street. You, you'd have to find me online. I, I don't, you know except advances from just rudimentary, organic, serendipital situations. Think about that. I'm going to post this on YouTube, but think about that. I know there, some of what I'm saying certainly makes sense. But give that a thought. It's something I think about. Have a great day.